How you doing guys? Welcome to the channel here. Uh, this is HM Trimworks, first video. And we'll show you what we're gonna do here. Uh, let's see. What we're gonna do is take these louver doors off and we want them removed. And we're going to show you how to hide the recess in the uh, where the hinge went. For instance, there's a louver door here. There's a uh, uh, louver door here, and there's one over there. And uh, we've got to make them all gone because this house is getting transformed. And we got to hide the hinges. For instance, this bathroom door uh, used to be uh, used to open the other way. And we changed it. And for instance, like here's where the hinge used to be. We could do a better job on that on the next one. But if you never knew it was there, you would never know. And uh, we had to cut that in there, get the lock set. Uh, here's where the old lock set was. And we had to mortise the new hinges in. So, because before the door used to open this way. And the light switch used to be way over here. So we moved the light switch over. So when you walk in the room, you can turn it on. And we, yeah. So we'll take the hinge off and we will show you how to do that. Okay guys, we've got the door removed and uh, now we're just gonna take the hinges off of the jam. So, as you can see, this one has been painted over, and uh, a lot of times the paint bridges, and when you peel it off, you wind up splintering the jam. So, and you don't want to do that, because that just causes more issues. So, maybe hit it a few times, your hammer. Oh, there you go. Alrighty. So now I gotta glue that piece back on. Nah, we got glue. Hold on. Okay, I actually got the piece here because I chipped it from the hinge when I was pulling it off. And you got to be very careful. This house is built in 1955 and it was kind of dry wood and uh, so on. This is actually metal here, which I'd never seen before. Um, the plaster comes up to it. It's weird. I don't know. But there was no trim on any of these... Uh, Doors, windows, you know what I mean? None of them. So, like, here's what it looked like. You know, that's what all the doors normally look like. And here's the hallway after we got done with it. We put all trim, fix it all up. Uh, waiting on that door. That door needs to be ordered. All three-piece crown molding. Uh, Wayne's coating in the living room there. Uh, three-piece crown up in there too. So, but anyway, we'll get all that done. So anyway, back to it. We just use tight bond original glue. Put a little on the uh, piece that we messed up. That is more than enough. Doing this with one hand, folks. I just smear it around. There we go. And put it right back up in place. There you go. Alright, now back to the uh Hiding the hinge part. What I found that works really well with these is the old paint stick, Home Depot paint stick. Actually, most of the time it's just wide enough and deep enough. Okay. I'll show you how to do that. Which 
you want to do is just take your hinge, line it up, and mark it. All right? Cut her on the saw. Be right back. Okay, we're back. Uh, you got your piece. You got your piece of uh, paint stick cut to the length of the hinge. Line it up, top and bottom. Just make sure this side here is really um, flush. All right. Let's take a clamp on there. And what I like to do is just follow that corner around with your herbal sander. All right. So it only takes a couple seconds and we'll be right back. Hold on. Just like that, you're done. And we'll show you what it looks like. Hold on. See what it looks like here. So you got the corners rounded there. It matches the hinge perfectly and it slips right in. You may have to clean that up with a razor knife in there to old paint. And it's usually just the right width too. Well if I clean that paint out there with a razor knife, it'll fit right in. That's why I just go like that. Yeah. I'll be right back. Okay, we got it all cleaned up with the razor knife. Just had to scrape a little newbies off of there. Nubbies, no big deal. Uh, we did put a little tight bond on the back of it. We decided to uh, put the ladder in, inside. So, anyway. There you go. A little tight bond. Slip it right in there. Wipe off the excess glue. It's kind of hard to see. Look at there. And then take the core uh, pinless nail, headless nail, or pin nail, or uh, let's throw a couple in there. Keeping it tight as far as I can that way. And there you go, there you have it. it <clears throat> what I like to use is, uh, well you can spackle it, and caulk it, whatever you got handy. But I usually use Painter's Putty 53. And uh, I use this for everything, filling all my nail holes. And I've been using it for years and it works great. So, just a handy little thing. All right, and we'll fill that in and paint it up, and you'll never know it's there. See you later. Have fun.